Hello, this is Michael, and in today's Fiery Tech Lit Tip, we're going to be talking about how to use a tablet to fill out paperwork, fill out contracts on a tablet, be able to upload it directly to a website and not have to actually deal with a physically printed piece of paper that you've written on and had to scan. This will save you a few steps. I'll show you how to use Adobe Acrobat Reader for free to be able to make these edits. I personally use a Samsung tablet and an S Pen stylus. By doing this, I can actually handwrite on the work order, on the contract, on the paperwork, and it's much like writing on paper. You can skip the whole step of printing a piece of paper, handwriting on it with ink, and then scanning it, and then uploading it. This allows you to just edit the document, write on the tablet, save it, and then upload it or email it to whatever destination it needs to go. To be able to edit documents on your tablet, you're going to need to have Adobe Acrobat Reader installed on your device. And then of course, you're going to need to download the PDF that you need to edit. Once you've downloaded the PDF, it should be in your downloads folder. I have a shortcut to my documents folder. So let's say that you want to edit a particular document. I'm going to select the Fiery Tech work order just for example's sake. I'm using a Samsung S Pen stylus, which allows me to have a very fine tip writing instrument. Why does that matter? Because when you're writing with your finger, it's a large contact surface and you cannot really see under your finger. So when you're making loops and connecting letters, you can't really see where that connection point is. So it makes very sloppy looking writing. When you use even a larger, kind of the normal standard styluses that you see all around that people give away for free with the, with the little flat fat tip on it. Even those are so fat that you really can't make fine, clear handwriting. The S Pen stylus is designed for very clear, concise writing. Let me show you a comparison between those three items. But first, let's talk about how we get into the editing mode. On the tablet, when you have Adobe Acrobat Reader open, you're going to have this blue circle with a white pencil. You're going to select that. You'll notice that there are two options at the bottom with the blue circle and the white star. Those are paid options. So we're just going to deal with the free options. I'm going to show you the one first that I don't like to use, and then we'll go into the one that I do like to use. Fill and sign is more about typing than it is writing. When you type, of course, it's going to be very clear, but to me, it's very cumbersome and restrictive. So I don't really like it, but I'm going to show it to you just for sample's sake. You can select anywhere on your document to write. And before you write, you can actually zoom in to a particular area to make it easier to see while you're writing. So I'm going to select here and then I can use my keyboard to type. And you're going to hit your check mark. It's saved. So that's really awesome. Not terribly bad, but you're going to have to type on that screen keyboard. And I don't like it personally. You may like it. So hopefully this will help you if you're that kind of person. The issue I have is that then when I want to sign, it's not a big deal if it's just me signing. But a lot of what we do, we are having customers sign. So I can do this for myself and it will save a signature. So we'll select the fill and sign, run up here to this, and this will give you the option to create a signature. Now I've already created one, so I have one for myself. So I can select this and I can select here and it will insert my signature, which then I can kind of drag around a little bit. I can resize it. So it's really great if you're just doing this for yourself personally. If you are going out and having customers sign, then every time you're gonna to have to create a signature for that person. What I like to do instead is use the option for comment. When you select comment, you can still edit the document fully, but it's all by handwriting. 
Once you select comment, you're going to have this toolbar at the top. The pencil is going to allow you to be in edit mode with the pencil. So I can now look at my tablet. I can handwrite on it. With the S Pen stylus, I can get very detailed and, you know, my handwriting is not the greatest, but it's still pretty good. Now let's try just a normal everyday stylus. One benefit of the S Pen stylus is when your hand approaches the screen and this S Pen tip gets near the screen, it stops recognizing hand touches, which prevents you from doing things like this. What's happening is as my hand is approaching the screen and touching it, it's making marks in places like here where I don't want the marks. So that is another negative to trying to use a standard stylus on top of the fact that it's not very clear. Very poor results. If I want to try to do the same thing with my finger, let me show you how that looks. As you can see, I can't see under my finger and it's just not a fine tip, so I really can't write as clearly. I think that the S Pen Stylus and the Samsung tablets are definitely the best way to go. If you do make mistakes and need to back up, up in the top right corner, you're going to see your backup, you know, undo button. And of course, you can just do this over and over and over again. The other thing you can do instead of just hitting the back button like 15 million times if you're trying to get rid of a lot is to actually come out of edit mode and go up to this menu option and it will show you all your comments listings. So I can select this. and I can actually delete the entire thing all at once. Everything that I've done within that session. So it even deleted what was down here. The way I like to do it is when I'm in the pencil edit mode, I can actually drag the screen around and get to the places that I wanna to get to. And I will also put it into landscape mode. This allows me to be able to see it better on the screen, have more room to work with. And of course I can still zoom. So if I'm wanting to go in here and actually add more details in these boxes and I can do that. So I can go back into edit mode by hitting the pencil. So this is pencil on, select it again, the pencil is off. If you're going to drag around on the screen, you want to make sure the pencil is off because when the pencil is on, I try to drag, I'm writing instead of dragging. So again, we're going to undo top right corner. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my drawing. As you can see, I can write in these small boxes by zooming in and being in landscape mode. Now I want to drag down and get to the notes section. So I'm going to turn the pencil off. I'm going to drag and now I can free write in this whole space. Now, what you're not seeing in this video is this whole time, I'm actually resting my palm on the screen. And because I'm using the S Pen stylus, it's ignoring the fact that my hand is touching the screen. I don't know if you've ever tried to write with a stylus, but if you're writing up in the air, it's like trying to write on a whiteboard. Just not having that foundation of your hand on the item makes it harder to write. So that's why I love the S Pen stylus and the Samsung tablets, because it is much more like writing on paper, because when you write on paper, you're putting your hand down on the paper and you're writing with your fingers. So again, we're going to come out of edit mode. We're going to zoom out. We're going to move around and make all of our edits. And once I'm done and I'm ready to save, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to select the checkbox. And now all of my edits are saved. And then suddenly I'm like, oh man, I actually forgot. I, I, I needed to get their customer signature. So again, you just jump right back into edit mode. Go to comment, 
Then I'll select the pencil at the top to go back into write mode. And then I can begin to write. Another nice feature is that you can change your color. So if you like red, you can do red, blue, green, obviously whatever color you like. You can also change the thickness of your writing. When I'm wanting to write notes, then obviously I keep that pretty thin because if you go up to a thicker pen style, obviously it's like using the fat crayons when you were in kindergarten. So you want to keep that at a level that looks good. So for me, I actually drop it down usually to here or even this, and it makes it, of course, you know, for me, I think black or another color looks really good. So by having it nice and thin, then it makes it much more easy to read and much more easier to write and connect your letters and everything under your stylus. If you still wanted to do text, you can. All you need to do is come up and select this T. This one does a strike through. This one doesn't underline. This one actually allows you to type with a keyboard. So I could select here and then I could type, you know, today, say today's date was March. Obviously, this size is a little bit too large, so if you wanted to write smaller, then you can select your text and select your font size here and bring it down a couple of points. Click away from it and it'll save. You can drag it, select it, and drag it into the right spot. But again, for me, this is cumbersome. I would rather just go into pencil mode, and I can free write wherever I want as fast as I want. And, and I just think it's a much better way to go about it. And then just like that, I'm done. Once you're done, select the checkbox, save. If you need to upload this document to maybe your Google Drive, your Dropbox folder, some kind of online storage, then you can just select the share button up at the top. And instead of hitting sign in, just say send a copy. And by doing that, it gives you all of your options for apps that are installed on your phone. And that is how you can use Adobe Acrobat for free, edit a document, and do everything with an S Pen and save it to your tablet for whatever use that you personally have. I hope this video was useful to you. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps us to grow and stay tuned for more Fiery Tech Lit Tips.